Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and in this video, I'll be looking at this 20 watt GAN charger from SyncWire and I'll be finding out which USB-C wall charger will get the most wall charging power out of your Apple MagSafe charger. So it's been known that Apple's own 20 watt charger is the go-to wall charger to get the best charging rates out of Apple's own MagSafe charger. However, on trying out a few alternatives, I found that isn't exactly the case anymore. Today we'll be comparing the Sequoia 20 watt charger alongside the Apple own 20 watt charger and comparing which is best when we charge our MagSafe adapter to our iPhone. But first let's have a look at the Sequoia 20 watt charger. It comes in this quite pharmaceutical looking packaging but the adapter itself is uh, very clean, very styled and very minimal in size as well as aesthetics. This is the UK equivalent, uh, the US and the Euro one pretty much doesn't have this part to it and it's just got two prongs sticking out so you can imagine how much less bulk those adapters are. But sadly in the UK we have to run with these three pins which can't be folded down unfortunately in this particular model. But you can see and compare between Apple's own, it's drastically smaller thanks to its GAN technology. They both have one USB-C port hole with the addition of the sync wire hole, it has a illuminating light around the outside, which makes it really, really good for finding the socket at night when your room isn't lit up and this is actually powered in the wall. It's not bright enough to make it a night light or anything like that, but it's just light enough to find the, the socket when it's dark. This is a very compact 20 watt charger that if you discount the connecting pin socket, is the smallest charger out of the two that we're looking at in this video. It also weighs roughly about half the weight of Apple's own 20 watt charger. So that saves you a little extra weight in your backpack or travel bag as well. Both of these adapter run power delivery functionality, which is what we want for MagSafe charging. So let's set the benchmark and we'll test this MagSafe 20 watt charger first and see what test results we can get from it. So I ran my battery down to just under 75% and its thermal state was normal. So we should have optimal conditions to see how fast the Apple MagSafe charger can go when connecting to the Apple's 20 watt charger. So after a few minutes of charging through Apple's 20 watt wall adapter, I got roughly around 12 watts of charging power through the adapter itself, whilst the Amperes app showed roughly 6.69 watts of charging power in that period. Now let's look over the sync wired 20 watt PD charger and that is a big surprise. This charger is the fastest yet out of the two with a max output of just over 13 watts from the charger itself and it showed 9.29 watts from the Amperes app itself in that same period. So if you were to go between the two 20 watt chargers, Apple's own and the one from sync wire, you're definitely going to get more charge out of the sync wire and obviously going to get a smaller and lighter package overall and save a little bit of money as well. So if you're looking for a fast wall charger for MagSafe then I recommend the sync wire 20 watt PD charger. It retails currently for £14.99 here in the UK and you can check out my links down below to learn more and to buy yourself one. Overall the sync wire 20 watt charger is cheaper than Apple's own 20 watt charger and you'll get a much faster MagSafe charging speeds from it too and it also weighs a lot less and it's definitely a lot smaller as well so it'll pocket better in your backpack or luggage as well. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, hit that like button down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of these two chargers that I've covered in this review, including the 20 watt charger from SyncWire. You can check out all my other tech reviews up in the top left playlist window. Hit that subscribe button down below to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.